What's up, family? Um, breaking story on the Gateway Pundit. It reads, uh, Reddit users break huge Clinton email story proving Hillary ordered emails to be stripped. I guess this is by Jim Hoft. And let me enlarge this here. So uh, it says, breaking citizen journalist breaks huge Clinton email story proving Hillary ordered emails to be stripped. Uh, Representative Steve Smith wrote, breaking blah, blah, blah. Okay, he tweeted on Twitter. Um, Paul Combetta asked to strip or replace VIP email addresses. Okay. So this exchange took place on Reddit and involves Paul Combetta. An employee with Platte River Networks, the company in charge of Hillary Clinton's home server. Combetta was granted immunity from Obama's Department of Justice. Why? I don't know. In their investigation of Clinton, Combetta was the employee who deleted all of Hillary's emails. According users on Reddit, Combetta asked for assistance on July 2014 from Reddit users on how to purge emails and how to strip VIP's email address from a bunch of archived emails. This was posted Monday on Reddit. And uh, Paul Combetta Public contributed the email address in 2014. Uh, publicly attributed email address was stonetier at gmail.com on July 2014. Uh, Reddit post annotated with usernames. Stonetier said remove or replace to from address on archive emails. Hello, I may be facing a very interesting situation, he wrote, where I need to strip out a VIP's very VIP email address from a bunch of archive email that I have both in live exchange mailbox as well as PST file. Basically, they don't want the VIP's email address exposed to anyone and want to be able to either strip out or replace the email address in the to, for, from fields in all of the emails we want to send out. I'm sure if something like this is possible with PowerShell or exporting all the emails to MSG and finding replaces with batching process programs of sort, does anyone have experience with something like this or suggestions on how this might be accomplished? And then Boris Movik, I'm thinking that's a Russian guy. There's no supported way to do what you're asking. You can only delete emails after they've stored in database. You can't change them. If there was a feature in exchange that allowed this, it could result in major legal issues. There may be ways to hack a solution, but I'm not aware of any permalink, uh, blah, 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 stone water, da, 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 PSD file. This issue is that the emails involve the private email address of someone you'd recognize, and we're trying to replace it with a placeholder address as not to expose it. And then X project wrote, to my knowledge, there's no way to edit existing messages that a possibility for discovering nightmare, uh, existing messages that's possible for discovery nightmare to strip rename on outbound inbound. You could rewrite it with a transport rule that wouldn't work on existing messages though. Right. Uh, is there no way to access an EDB manual? I have full access to the server. What are you suggesting with EDB file? And then so he goes on to get instruction. So basically, she did order the um, deletion of the emails. And uh, that's something we need to take note of. Wow. I mean, Hillary Clinton is just something else, man. Uh, and um, man, Trump, he's no angel, but Hillary Clinton makes him look like an angel. Uh, as an independent kingdom activist, this really concerns me. Father, I just pray that you would continue to expose. You said in your word, you expose that which is in darkness. And you do it so that we can come to repentance and we can receive and experience your grace. In Jesus' name, amen.